All right. And let's get this set up again. It's time for the final part of what we need to do right now. And then we'll be set to probably go on to the end chapters. I'm excited, actually. And continue. All right, so one last book to choose. Jennifer found the Goat Sisters. Really? Guess we're gonna read about the Goat Sisters. Bah! I guess the Goat Sisters do the exciting adventures. Are they kissing there? This looks like there's a heart above it, but maybe they're just eating each other's grass. What do I know? Little sister wrote a letter. Bah! Bah! Big sister munched it up. Bah! Bah! Little sister studied her notes. Bah! Bah! Big sister tore them to shreds. Bah! Bah! Little sister wanted to read Big sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. Bah! But with Big Sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who is there to read the letter to? Bah! Bah! That page is torn, so I guess we're gonna learn some moral from this. Onward! Would you like to save my game? Sure, if I'm starting this all out, I might as well. And here we go. This one's gonna take place in August, right? Oh no, September, right. September 1930, The Goat Sisters. Bah! When the unlucky girl closed the notebook, the whole princess was in whatever. The princess said softly, I guess. Hmm. It's not here either. If someone else finds it, there must be something very important to you. Why don't you go find it? There's only one thing I have to say to you, girl. Bah! Alright, let's see here. We found Meg's pencil, which is obviously we're supposed to be sniffing, I guess. The name Meg is written on the pencil. Goats chew pencils! Hello, Bug and Knight. Uh, what's your story tip for the day? If memory serves me correctly, you've met a wise princess, a spring of inventions. She seeks what you seek. I know what it is, yet you forget. Remember your forgotten promise. That's yours only clue. Alright, so we're using pencils to locate stuff. We also appear to be in a stage right now. A design draft for some machine is posted on the wall. So just because she wears glasses, she's selling some crazy inventor. Wait, wait what did that say? I keep on missing what it says. Alright, let's try it again. Poor, helpless, unlucky girl, tell me your tale. It's the bucket! Ha, ah, I thought there was something else there. I thought there was an item. Ah, I just misunderstood. Oh, actually, I should stuff some items away, though I still have all those notepad stuff from last time. So sure, right? Let me stuff some stuff inside you. Okay, you want a little bit... You can probably take the red feather. I don't need that. I'm gonna keep the meat cleaver in that. I don't need any of these sketches that I got a bajillion of. Uh, the bird? I don't need the bird anymore. Don't need that either. I do need this. So, yep, that's all I can give away at this point. Uh, that means let's quickly decide to use... Uh, not the scones, which I have saved for such such an occasion. Uh, this one. Find the Meg's pencil. Go, Brown, go! Oh. He'll 
find all the brownies. So apparently it's up here, which sounds obvious, but I don't even know where we are on the ship. I've never been to this area before. Brown go this way? Brown, before we take the right way, let's take the wrong way. That's the name of Ryan, or the rule of the thumb for the aesthetic gamer. If there's a right way, there's a wrong way. If there's a wrong way, there's stuff to explore. Sector 14 storage, don't mind if I do. Hmm. I would dare even guess that there's stuff that we can probably collect from this chapter. This almost seems like it's a storage shed on the uh, ship. Kind of looks like a mixture between a theater area and an actual storage ship. Here's something. Found Aristocrat's page. What's this? The Red Crown Pledge. Intriguing. I pledge, a light, or I pledge allegiance to the prince and princess. I promise to leave thy neighbor. I shall, I, I shall offer a monthly gift. I shall punish the unfaithful. Alright. Uh, now what's up here? This seems like a pretty big area. Time for Explorers OCD to take over. Actually, I think I might know this area. Yeah, this is the back of the ship. Except last time I was back here, it was themed after uh, boats. Now it seems to be themed after storage. Yeah, this is definitely where I think it is. But it looks different than when I was here previously. Anything around the first engine? Nothing I can see off the top, at least. Anything back here? No. This is literally just the first engine. Well, if there's nothing here to gain, I guess back up we go. Da 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 da! Oh, Jason! I was wondering if you were eventually gonna walk into watching me playing this game. Wait till some of the scenes that come later, or earlier, because you weren't here earlier. Jason has a hate thing with this game. I, was, I would say love hate, but he'd kill me if I actually said that. All right, sector 13 lift. So there's a lift here. Is this where I think it is? I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. Dear say, I think you need some help there, Missy. But this is exactly where I think it is. It's just that it does look very different. The sloppy prince uh, paused from his sword practice and said, What's Miss uh, Meg looking for? A gift? Probably not. Miss Diana already found the goat. Anyway, I've got a train to improve my speed. I'm preparing for a duel. <laughs> so don't bother me. So he's all busy off over in that direction, I guess. Oh, there's another shiny here. Why are there? Why is the last shinies? Let me, let me pick that up. Let me pick that up. There you go. A uh, stray dog list. Really now, stray dog list. You don't say. Stray dogs notes. The following are notes on the monster stray dog, as described to us by the beautiful princess of the rose. He's big, strong, scared, scarred. Loyal, talkative, cleanly, and he kidnaps children who don't do their chores. Current task, stray dog investigation. First floor restroom. Gather notes from rumors scribbled on walls assigned to Susan. So investigating, I guess, the dog. Are you not the stray dog that they're all looking for? You're the only dog I know, so... You know, I'm gonna follow your nose, first of all. I feel like this is the right way. Whatever you wanted me to do is the wrong thing to do. I got that feeling that that's the case here. Or actually... Now you're telling me to go over there. Now I want to explore the way I came from. Thank you, Stray Die, Mean Brown. Brownie. You know, maybe more people would like you if you were called Brownie instead of Brown. Then they wouldn't have to call you Stray Dog. If they called you Stray Dog, then... I don't mean to scare you, Mr. Jason. Only on occasion, I mean to, but that's that's only on occasion. That's okay, Jason. 
Sector, the I'm telling you, Jason, the story in this game is actually very interesting. You'd probably be surprised, given that Sasuke kind of messed up, so I'm not sure what you'd think of it in the end. Let's see. There's a shiny here I meant to pick up, but missed. A lollipop. Take it down to the candy shop, a lollipop. I always love picking up candy from the ground, don't you know? Wasn't this where I was? How did I miss the lollipop? It was in such an obvious location. Guess I'm just blind. What's up here then? If this is the area I think it is, I think I might already know the layout of this general area. It's just that it looks different. It looks like it's more themed, in my opinion, after theater. It reminds me of the back of a stage. However, though... Yeah, boarding gate, I guess. But it looks different. It's like it's no longer a wire thing like it was. This is actually different, too. Nothing over here, though. Sector 15, Meg's lab. Because apparently Meg needs a lab, right? So that's a dead end. What's on the other side of uh, this multi limbed area? I know where you want to go, Brown. You're, you're, you're probably right. Over here, boarding gate. This should be another boarding gate. Will there be an item for me? There's only one way to find out. There's a staircase on this one. Now, what's up here? There we go, this one actually seems to lead somewhere. At the very front we have... what is this actually? Well, this is different, I'll give it that much. I'm not gonna go down there yet though, I'm gonna first take the time to explore up here. And up here we find lots of twists and turns, honestly. There's an area to go back down, but what, what's in the front path area? I think this is where I was earlier when I was in the water chapter, except that uh, it looks a bit different. What is that I'm looking at? It looks very large. Interesting. But different. I'll take it, I'll take it. That means we're going back down then. Seems like this area is mostly useless. Maybe there's a few items here that Brown's nose could sniff out, but I'm going to just leave it at that at this point. I don't think there's too much else here for me. Outside of some intriguing sights, maybe I have to come back here? Maybe, but for now, it's pretty useless. We'll take this route, though, because I haven't tried this route before. Actually, this route seems to be a dead end. Yep, it is just as such. Alright, Brown, I'll follow your nose this time. Brown's nose knows what's up all the time. Seriously, Brown, who gave you such a wonderful nose? Not me, that's for sure. Out of the Brown, I'll beat you to the door, because I know where you're headed anyway. I was just going to say, get your nose out, because once we get past this whole area. Alright, the Brown should be quite a bit far behind me. I seem to be faster than him, so maybe one day he'll get a speed boost. I thought dogs were mostly faster than humans. I mean, I've never had a direct... Uh, that's not true. I've, I've raced a dog before. That sounds kind of random, I know, but it's because uh, there's dogs and you throw things and they'll go after it. And they'll especially get... Uh, they'll go after it if you throw a stick or some other item that they can want to obtain and try to chase it after them. But they'll get all, they'll get all playful then. Uh, we had a girl, uh, dog, I said dog, that uh, was very excited about that stuff. And there was also this little small chihuahua. He was, uh, he was also very excited for stuff like that. I always beat the small dog with bigger dog. I, just, I couldn't beat her. Guy. God gave him the nose, the nose of magical spending everything, so... Ryan, do you love puppies? Well, sure, puppies are cute. I'm more of a cat person than I'm a dog person, but I do very much like dogs, too. Uh, but anyways, though, if I if you people ask what type of person I am when it comes to pets, I will answer them for you. Honestly, I'm a turtle person. Come here. There you are. Now back out. The nose knows. I don't know why I didn't think of that one, because... You know me and my love for cheesiness. Let's go, Brown. Have I been here? This looks different than things I'm accustomed to. Like, I don't think I've been to this part of the ship, but it looks very similar to other parts of the ship. Actually, I think I know where this is. Freezing compartment. No, I do not know what this is. This is new. Now what's in the freezing compartment? 
I guess we'll start here and look around afterwards. This is indeed new. Brown, why'd you just attack that snowman? Found ice pick. And there's also shiny here, I see. Found love letter. Oh, Diana, Diana, I love you with all my heart, Meg. And we've been trapped in with a monster. And of course, they're themed after goats. No, I should have seen that coming. No, don't bah ha me, bitch. All right, uh, let's see. Ice pick, is that a weapon? Yes, it is, but I'm gonna try and use the steel pipe in the meantime. All right. Hopefully that's good enough for goats. Okay, back, you bitch. We'll wait till it gets up, then we'll start hitting it again. Ha! It gets hit down. No worries, Brown, we got this. This goat doesn't seem to be responsible to my favorite steel pipe weapon. And dead. See, that was simple. The uh, door's unlocked after we have committed murder, yada yada. We got an ice pick and a love letter. I can probably use the love letter to look at the next area, but before I do that, I want to take some time to explore. However, though, I will give you the love letter. It's probably what I need to use anyways. Letters usually have some sort of scent, and hopefully Brown can pick up on the lower scent of this love letter. Okay, Meg's pencil. Thank you, but we actually want to use the love letter right now. Fine, knew it. Now then, sniff, Brown. Now, I'm not gonna follow you immediately. I'm gonna check the ways I'm not supposed to check. Like, where is this? Here's an area I've never been to. The kitchen. <laughs> Why would I go in there? No, I'm just kidding. Um, sometimes the situations just write themselves. Uh-oh. Seems like children are pretty excited to be in here. Oh, this place is ways open. Does this lead to the kitchen? Yeah, I know where this is. This is the area I think it is. I'll come back here later. Okay, now I know what part of the ship we're at. This is actually a part of the ship I've never been to before now that I have located us. Yep, this is exactly where I thought we were supposed to go. I'll come back here later, though. First, I'm going to do the stuff I in the areas I haven't explored previously. Sounds more exciting to me. Sounds more interesting. Now oh, then. Now, avoid all these deadly children and their brooms of death. I know, Brown, you say it's over here. So now that I'm aware of what compartment of the airplane we're at, we've actually almost explored every part of the ship now. There's only a few leftover segments that we haven't gone down yet. Now, before I follow Brown's nose, I want to explore these other nooks and crannies. If I can. Hey, we got a little going here. This is the pantry. What might they store in the pantry? Possibly food, which if that's what's actually in here is what's going to be great for me because I need some healing items pronto. Seems like there's something blocking my way and a lot of enemies on the other side. The enemies aren't small enough to go under either though. So there's a whole lot of nothing in here besides a hint that the door on the other side has enemies in it. If I can beat those enemies anyway, they're just bag enemies. They're not very difficult. The goat head seem a little bit tougher, but I'm not sure what more they have besides being tougher. Alright, there's also a door at the end of the hallway I'm going to check. All the doors here are open all of a sudden. Second passenger hallway. Got it. Now then. He seems his nose has caught a new scent here. But I want to explore the areas I haven't been into first. What's in here? The wheelhouse. What the fuck's a wheelhouse? You tell me. Alright. Taking a second to load though, so I have a theory. Oh. Well, this is different. Uh, let's see, can I read that? Yes, I can. A ladded map is on the wall. It's hard to read, but there seems to be a line marking a course. You bet it's hard to read. There is a speaking tube. Nothing can be heard from it. 
It's a map used for navigation. There's a course plotted from England to India. Why are we going to India? You tell me, because I sure don't know. Down here, we have a little story. Oh, okay, that's a trap. See y'all later. Now, what's in here? The radio room. Hmm. You can see radio equipment. It seems to be in use. I know you want to go over there, and you're probably wise to want to go over there, but yeah, I... The wheelhouse. Back to exploration mode. So the radio house is over here. I better watch out, though, because all those enemies are in here now. Or are they? Or they just regenerate if I don't do anything. I just want to confirm that apparently there's no reason to be over here. Brown, 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 come on, come on. Come, dog, come. There's no reason to be down there. I found that out for myself just right now, just to be sure. Now then, back up we go so we can save Brown the trouble. Alright, so there was some uh, interesting stuff about our direction in this plain area, but nothing more than that. Second passenger hallway. Now then, what's over here? Another door, which leads us to the third passenger corridor. Wait, I think I might know where this is. This is that one door that's always been locked too, right next to the staircase to the clover rooms, right? Where could it have gone? Yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. We're not gonna take this route yet. I still want to explore. Second passenger hallway. So much to see and do. Alright, so uh, we're now going to follow your nose, Go. Brown. Or maybe I shouldn't follow that yet. Brown, where do you think your nose is going to take you? Back here? Down here? Sorry, Brown. I'm going to investigate this door first. Alright, here we have the Sector 13 Maintenance. Is that the hallway I was in earlier? Sounds familiar to me. That's why I'm asking. Apparently this is the right way. What's in here then? Wine storage. Yeah, I mean I'll take what I can get. I'm just kidding. But <laughs> Enemies all over in here. But there's an item in here, so I guess I'm gonna fight them for it. I take this route out. I'll hit this guy away. That's one enemy dead. My last hit is slower than the other hits. Try and hit them dead. Now kill you. There, everyone was dead. Now what's this item here? Jennifer found minced pie. Oh, there we go. That's good. Uh, dog. Find me some minced pie. And I'll look for that after we get the next item. Da, 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 da. However, all these healing items most likely means that uh, there is a boss in this chapter. I'm starting to f figure out the patterns of how this game works. So I'm guessing this is a double-doored room, which is where you want me to go. Sector 13 lift. I wasn't here before, really? I guess I wasn't. But I can almost swear I was. Yeah, I even know where this is. So you're telling me this goes back the other direction. Who wants to bet this is gonna take me all the way back to that one area that was completely empty before? I'm making bets now, that's exactly where he's taking me. Okay, sector 14 storage. Let's do its thing, I guess. The strong willed princess and the cold princess were talking. The unlucky girl listened quietly. There's a lot of this in this chapter. That's why I don't like her. She follows me everywhere. It's pathetic. What do you think, Eleanor? 
She was writing you a love letter. I already got it. And ripped it in the hall. And hall. Ripped it in hall. Oh. I tried to make the goat eat it, but it wouldn't even. I, I see. Well, what should I do with the rest of the letter? Oh, there's a baby goat there. It looks so cute. So, wait, wait, wait. In one chapter, the red haired girl is working with the blonde haired girl because she says she hates Eleanor. In this chapter, she's working with Eleanor because she hates the blonde haired girl. And for some reason, I guess the blonde haired girl loves the red haired girl. Whatever. Perfect timing, Jennifer. I have a job for you. Part of this letter was torn off and is missing. I need to f go find it. Oh, Diana, Diana, where forever art thou? It seems to be a letter meant for Diana, but it is torn and impossible to read. Jennifer found torn letter. Austin's a shiny here. Inventory full. Please drop something. Okay, if you say so. Uh, first of all, I guess I'm going to start off with Meg's pencil. If I use you, will it lead me to find anything? Nothing happened. No, no, not use. I need to put you in the find thing. Meg's pencil. Find. Now, if I tell you to go find it. Okay, so we can throw away Meg's pencil. We've confirmed that there's no more use for this. Uh, I can't drop it until I remove, though. Now I can drop it. Yes. Now let's see. Torn letter. Love letter. Stray dog. If I use this as fine, can you find anything now? Go. This, you say. Jennifer found Meg's notebook. Margaret's little book, Meg. Chapters, The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrats Club Manners, Meg's Inven Invention Center, Findings on the Land of the Imps. The Prince and the Princess, Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 1, Courtesy. Aristocrat Manners, Lesson 2, Hosting. Uh, words of the Princess of the Red Rose, Jennifer, your efforts this month deserve special recognition. You managed to find Peter and will be amply rewarded. That was the thing that she said to me a few nights ago, or back in May, I guess. Meg's Invention Corner, Torture Chair, Spinning Chair, Seems Like Chairs, Torture Bag, or, or in Torture, Sawn for an Onion, Onion Bag, Secrets of the Land of Blank, there's nothing written about the Land of Imps, Playroom, Following the Popularity of Airships, the Orphanage built several. Huh. Feels like there's more I can learn from that. Alright, so love letter. If I tell you to find it now. Go! Okay, so I can throw that away. Uh, remove that and drop that for the moment. Try and free up space here. It's important. Ice pick? I'm not sure if I want to use that as a weapon. It has no use, so I guess I will drop that for now. Yes. Uh, okay, Meg's notebook. Uh, it's interesting, I guess, but there's not anything I can think of that I need to use with it. The Goat Sisters, Minced Pie. Can you find any other Minced Pie, uh, boy? Go! He'll help me find other Minced Pies, apparently. What do you guys have to say? Just a, just a... Let's see. Just a dress bow? Is that all you're doing? I guess it's only a dress bow on your side. Sally, the black goat, has been found, but Mary, the white goat, is still missing. Now, where did she go? Why are you bowing to me? Is it because you guys aided, or asked for my aid? This goat? Eleanor and I found it for the gift of the month. Don't get any ideas or else you'll be sorry. How about the goat itself? As the unlucky girl stared at the black goat, it let out a desperate cry. Anything else? Just another bah. Alright, now dog, lead me to pie! The best kind of dog searching pie. Now then. 
Guess we're looking for pie. Can't say I disagree. <laughs> Find me the best pie in the universe, dog. It's okay. Brown knows where all the pie's at. He's a pie expert. That wasn't very hard at all. There was some pie there. Good boy. Go. There's no more pie in this world. Or I don't know if there's any other purpose to <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, uh, how about scones? Is there any scones here? Go. Oh. There's a scone right next to this pie. Who the fuck was storing food around here? What did I pick up? Well, that, that didn't look like a scone, a clothespin. What the hell? How's a clothespin? I, I told you to find biscuits or scones. Where the fuck did you find a clothespin from? I'm not gonna question your tactics here, but. Go! You're telling me scones are this way. If it's too far, I'm not going out of my way for a fucking scone. These guys are fucking easy to find. You know what? And why is this numbered? What, what do I use? What, do, what are these for? Let's look at it. Clothespin. An ordinary clothespin used for drying laundry. I guess fine clothespin? Go! Where do you say clothespin lay? I don't even know what I need clothespin for. There's one right here, apparently. Found a marble. B Dog, is your nose okay? Alright. Uh, a marble. What do I need a marble for? A tinted glass mar- Cool? Uh, find a marble? Go! This way? Okay. Da -da -da. This way, I guess. I need to drop some. Okay. Okay, I guess. You know what? I'm gonna eat the, my scones, because I can. There we go, now I can pick this up. A sock. Well, I'm not gonna question when you're trying to help me turn on. Meat cleaver. I guess I'll drop that for now. Hopefully it goes back to my box. Stray dog list. Mr. Crap page. Can you find what this is? Where was this? No, nothing. Alright. Uh, look at it? Let's say... Oh, it's just the letter thing. I can drop that after I'm done. Uh, remove... And drop for now. Yes! Alright, stray dog list. How about this one? Does this have anything for you? No! No, another negative? Alright, uh, I guess we can remove that then. And drop it. You free up space right now. Same as with this one, yeah, you can't even look at that. I'll keep it just in case, but the goat sisters, some minced meat, I guess we'll follow the torn letter. Nothing else to look at right now. Go. Alright boy, let's do this thing. We're probably gonna follow the path that we saw Meg taking earlier. Exploration ho! Second passenger hallway. Mm-hmm. Very insightful. I don't know where you're leaving me today, dog, but I trust you. I trust you with all of my... nose? That works, I think. This door? Who saw that one coming? I certainly did. I kind of want to save at the Scarecrows whenever I get nearby one. I guess I'll just follow you right now. I do have a bit of minced meat and all that, so that's always nice. The crew cabin. Hmm. 
Seems to be a big chapter. Well, that could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> to the turbine area, so are we just going to go to the box or something? Is that where Meg is heading right now, or is there more to it than that? To be fair, I haven't been to the box, so I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Excuse me, boat child. Children, more like it. And there we go. Thankfully, all the enemies are acting really dumb right now. Sometimes they can be very intelligent or come in large packs. They're just kind of acting kind of stupid right now. Oh, well, that's a bad thing. I'm actually happy with that. Where, oh, where aren't you leading me, dog? Is this open? Oh, it is. Is there anything inside? I guess we're about to find out. Middle class luggage. Doesn't really seem to be anything in here. Or wait, is that something? No, that's nothing. Dog's excited to leave though, so let's get going. Come on, Brown. We don't need any of these useless rooms. That, that sounded a lot more intelligent in my head than before I said it. Let's see. So where, oh where, is this torn page gonna take us? I'm happy you're not gonna tell me it goes to the front. I want to check Amanda's room first of all, though. It's been a while since I checked it. Maybe Amanda happens to be here. I haven't seen her ever since she was demoted. Alas, Megan still... Not Megan. Megan's the other girl. Alas, uh, Amanda is still not around here. That door's still locked. I wonder what that night that notebook's about. Anyways, though, we'll continue following you, Brown. You're telling me that there's something around the red uh, aristocrats area. In other words, the fancy dancing chambers. It's been a while since those chambers have been useful, so sure, I'll follow you there. Not exactly sure what it is we're looking for around here, but we'll take it. Oh, yeah, let me investigate that. To the fancy chambers! Maybe that one door that's always been locked will finally be unlocked. You know, the door that's right next to the staircase that's always been just in the way. Maybe the secret chamber, too. It's finally open! This door! It's exactly what I thought it was. The door that's always been locked previously. The aristocrat luggage? Alright. I guess that's where another note from the aristocrats might be, so... Let's take a look-see. Oh, we're locked in with an enemy. With giant scissors! Take care of the regular goat first. Watch out! Boy, watch out for enemies with giant pairs of scissors! I better get out of the way for a second. Try and kill this goat first. Get up, goat. I'm trying to kill you first before I take on scissors, ma'am. Ow. Oh, am I really dead? I knew I should have saved my game. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Remember, Ryan, always save your game. You know when a giant goat with scissors are gonna show up. However, though, there's actually something I want to check out before we do the lair thing that you're gonna do. I actually first want you to find minced pies. I know that sounds kind of silly there, Brownie, but listen, I really like pie. I think that's good enough reason to know that uh, our relationship here depends on you finding me pie. All right, find. Search for all the pie, Brownie. Brownie will teach me all the pie tricks. Alright. Brownie, what's that? There's pie over this truck. Pie! Pie! 
I need to go meet the girls and find out about goats or whatever else they're talking about these days. Whatever those crazy, what's ever popular with the women's. Now you're gonna tell me that it's where I just came from, right? Oh, there's actually something over here. Something I hadn't found. Always oh, maybe you second guess reality, Mr. Brown. That's because you're gonna tell me to go down the other route. Now then, where is it that you think I'm supposed to be going? Brown, are you sure you're not stupid? Brown, Brown, Brown! Go. Brown, what the fuck are you doing? Brown, you're scaring me! Okay, I will leave that be. I don't hate to say it, but I think uh, Brown's gone a little bit demented here. Now then. <sighs> oh, Brown, you're tell telling me there's something you're sniffing out over here, really? Brown, I think there's something wrong with your nose. I, I don't want to tell Brown that his nose is broken, but his nose is broken. Works for me, and this time I'm going to save my game before I fight the enemy I got fucking killed by last time. Uh, how was I supposed to call there was going to be a goat with a bow tie and a giant pair of scissors? Who calls that? I'm like, you know what, I better save my game in case I get attacked by a random female goat with scissors today. Get lost before I smack you? Really? How about you, goat? That just says a little bow for me. They just told me you'd smack me if I didn't leave right now. What, is that your idea of a beatdown or a smackdown as the case might be? Ah, they locked it. Okay, there was also potentially uh, there was also a safe station in ah. Oh. Well, they purposely locked off all the safe stations. Well, time to make sure we don't die from a goat with scissors because there's no safe stations that are open right now. I guess it was a direct design decision. They thought, you know what? Let's make sure that the player doesn't save before they fight a giant goat with scissors. So then you have to start the chapter all over if they die. That sounds cool, right? Now then. So, let's just make sure we don't die. Hopefully the ice pick is good against them. Because if not, <laughs> well. I have it equipped, right? Alright, well I got plenty of healing items, I guess. Actually, there's one last thing I want to do. I should have done this when I was in the neighborhood. I wanted to drop off some of the marbles and socks and all that I picked up. Apparently someone said I dropped them off in the gift box. I guess I can give them some offerings. I got plenty. Honestly, take them. Take them all. I don't need any more. First class guest sector. All things I think of to do after Morial here. So anyways, the door's right over here. Why, hello, holy door. Would you take all my socks and marbles? No, honestly, just take them. I really don't need them. Alright, so let's go up to this. I'll start off by trying to give you all of my socks. Nothing happened, so that's not how it works. Uh, make an offering. Socks, right. Yes. You've brought me one of these. Give me five, a six, a five more and I'll reward you with the finest confections. Make an offering. Take another one. Yes. I'm gonna make an offering. Close pin, I guess. Seven more. How about marbles? Make an offering. I guess I'll keep one marble just for myself. Yes. You've brought me one of these. Give me eleven more. Oh boy. This is a very demanding box. Uh, make an offering. I'll give you one more mar. Actually, is that two or seven? How many did I have? I'll not check the box. I know what the box is for. Things can be placed inside it. That is typically how it works. Oh, actually, I have quite a few more marbles left. I'll drop it off till I just have one left. Just to get this out of the way, make an offering. I wish you could drop off more than one at once. I wouldn't have to sit here and make this happen. 
I'm not check the box. I sometimes accidentally check the box, and I'm like, okay, I know what the box does. That's what I'm doing. Giving you offerings. Take all my peasant marbles. Take an offering, marbles, yes. If I have to do it over again, no, PK, I don't have a hope, do you? Now then, only two more to give. Oh, now there's only one more to give. Now I have to find four more marbles, and then all that happens. Yes. I'll give you five more. Alright, so no, 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 I'm, out. I'm all out of marbles. Ha! That's almost funny. Alright, fine. Is there any marbles I can find around here? Dog, tell me. Dog, I already found the marble or something at least. Yep, it's a marble. Dog, find just a few more and we'll be good. No, seriously, dog, if you can just find a couple more marbles, uh, we're, we're, we're literally set. I only need one more marble, I think, and I'm good. I think it was three more I need. No, no, it's four more, so I need a couple more. Alright, that's uh, one more. Find me one more marble, and really, if there was a marble over there, why don't you just say so? Then I'll find out whatever reward I get for giving this stain a lot of marbles. Not sure what the reward actually is, to be honest. Sniff it out, boy. Do we hear you say? Please don't tell me it's the library. Good, it's not the library. It's in the sick room? Okay. If you're telling me there's a marble in the sick room, I'll take you to the sick room and get you some marbles. The reward is more marbles. Ah, oh, Ryan lost his marbles. How the marbles should feel to think about that. I want to pick up the marble. There you go. That's actually all the marbles I need, but I'm going to try it one more time. Because if I get one more marble, I can still search stuff out using the marble to find other stuff. Because the marble can also locate uh, hairpins and socks. So, but it also mainly locates marbles, but it can also locate the other items if I need to. I was afraid you are going to tell me it was in the library. There's goats in here, dog, so you better find it fast, because I don't want to spend too much time in here. I guess the goats like reading or eating. Whichever one comes first. Alright. Just tell me where it is quickly so we can get out of here. There we go! We have marbles! Those are some excited goats. Oh, the goat. Oh, there's no more marbles. We have found every marble currently in the level. That's a very rare occurrence. The reward is a trip to the dentist. Oh boy. The reward is squirrel keys. Everyone's just saying troll stuff. That's fun. So anyways, uh, we'll find out the reward for giving marbles. Uh, there's also apparently a reward for clothespins and a reward for socks. Just gotta kind of wonder what type of thing I'll get rewarded for giving the thing marbles, clothespins, and socks, but whatever. Uh, yes. Then you tell me there's just three more or four more. I have enough, though. Make an offering. Yes, yes. Three more. No, oh, fuck. I always look at the box and accidentally try to skip through the decks. And we're about to find out what the reward for marbles is. Hopefully it's something super amazing, because obviously that's how much marbles are worth. Brought me two more. You reward me. Got it. I got three more, so we're good. Bring me one more? Oh, I'm actually getting excited. It probably is nothing, though. It's probably going to be like something super disappointing. Oh? You received shortbread. Shortbread. Well, it's a good healing item, sure, but it's just a healing item. Oh, well, I'll take it. Whatever, I'm out. We got ourselves a healing item. whoop de doo Just watch as that shortbread will be what saves my life. Combine the marbles, the clothespins, and all that, and soon you'll get yourself super de duper stuff. Anyways, let's actually fight this fabled goat with scissors. Warning you guys, goats with scissors are fucking tough. Unexpectedly. You were scrap log it, and here we go. Maybe I should fight the enemy with the giant scissors first. 
All right, I have the right weapon, an ice pick. Hopefully. Try and kill your sister with scissors first. Ow. Gotta check my health every once in a while, uh, so I can probably eat scones. Some delicious scones. All right, well that's part of the, the scissors are out of the way. My brother has something that he's stabbing me with too, but I can't tell what it is exactly. Ah, okay. The scissors hurt a lot though. They take off quite a bit of my health, not to mention they're quite fast. No sisters with this first. Oh, is she dead? Okay, one of the sisters is dead. Only you're left. You know what you're holding exactly. All right, get back up. We're not gonna do this for too long. Just stabbing goats out of the way. The ice pick is good against goats. So I guess I should trust the weapons I pick up. Get up here, we're gonna stab you some more. Here we go, two dead. It's cool and all, but what was actually in here? Dog, sniff it out. Uh, yeah, the torn letter, fine. It was hidden here, apparently. I always enjoy being rewarded for my hard work. <laughs> I know you weren't here for most of the game, but if you think that defines them as evil, terrible children, you were not here earlier, PK. You were not here earlier. That was nothing compared to some of the stuff they've done. Anyways, though, let's see. There's a strange sack here. Something is wrestling around inside it. Let's run around here. 
Poor, helpless, unlucky girl. Tell me your tale. No, we don't need any items. There's something inside the sack, it seems, though. Is it the goat from earlier? I guess the chapter's not done quite yet. I'll save my game, though, while I'm over here. Save, and that's for a hint. Overwrite. Now then. Now what's your hint, a bucket knight? And ask for clues. If memory serves me correctly, you finally found the place of your precious oath. Peace. Now weave together the memories that shall serve as your beacon of light. Your beacon of light. I've never talked to you after these things happen, so where, where's this tip? Here it is. A ragged goat doll is lying on the floor. A piece of paper is underneath it. Even true love is quickly shredded by... I'm going to read the full story of the goat. The Goat Sisters. Little sister wrote a letter. Bah, bah. Big sister munched it up. Bah, bah. Little sister studied her notes. Bah, bah. Big sister tore them to shreds. Bah, bah. Little sister wanted to read Big Sister the letter, so she fetched it from her sister's stomach. Bah! But with Big Sister dead in a pool of amber blood, who was there to read the letter to? Bah! Bah! Even true love is quickly shredded by conflict. Yeah. The unlucky girl remembered the promise she made to her, yeah? so she wrote it on the chalkboard. And now we have the full memory. So she'd never forget it ever again. The chalkboard could be easily erased, but whatever. Everlasting true love. I am yours. Hmm. So, a love story. Now then. We're gonna save our game and see what we're gonna do, because we finished all three storybooks in the month before the month of October. Which means we can finally continue. Wasn't that big of a promise. I guess somehow we just forgot something as simple as that. Save over there. I just... No, don't override. I just saved. 